So in this section, we're going to talk about communication. So obviously we're still in the marina, but quite often when you're out on the water, you need to communicate. Most importantly, when you're trying to anchor the boat or bring the anchor up. So we're going to talk about some communication signals. So we don't have to shout 50 feet, 60 feet down the boat to our partner who possibly can or cannot hear us. So we have some standard signals on Nemo, but it's a good idea when you get on the yacht that you're sailing on that your skipper will agree some signals with you. So I do this. This does not mean I'm angry and I'm shaking my fist at you. It means I want the engine in neutral. Okay, so that the propeller's not been driven, the engine is just running but not been driven. If I do that, that means go forwards. So engage the engine in forwards. If I do that, that means go into reverse. And now I can go back into neutral. It's important to remember that when the engine's in neutral, the boat will still be going forwards if we've just been forwards. It's a bit like taking your foot off the accelerator in a car. It doesn't suddenly stop it will keep running until the momentum dies away. The other thing is we may need to have a direction that we want to go forwards in. So if we want to go forwards over to port, I point over to port, put my thumb up, or into neutral, or into reverse. So we may need to talk about distance, in which case we can use our fingers to count five meters, four meters, three meters, two meters, one meter, and then obviously we're back to stop. So there is a universal signal when we're hoisting the anchor that when we can see it in the water but it's not yet on the boat we do this and this tells the person on the helm that the boat is no longer connected to the seabed but not to go charging off because the anchor is still in the water and may bang against the boat.